Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be doing a comparison between two popular bridge pickups. Both are by the brand Bare Knuckle, and they are both signature bridge pickups. One is Josh Smith from North Lane, it's his pickup, and the other is Misha Mansoor from the band Periphery, it is his signature bridge pickup. Uh, there's a lot of similarities between the two, and they both sound really, really awesome. Put it in this uh, ESP LTD H1000 with the teardrop headstock. Um, I felt that a guitar that was had a maple top in conjunction with a mahogany body, um, I thought that would bring out the top end of the pickups a little bit better and a little bit clearer than just a standard mahogany body, which both of my PRSs are. Both great guitars, I love them. I just felt for this comparison to get the most true top end response, I felt that this was the best guitar to conduct that comparison. I played through a song and in the context of that song I'll alternate back and forth between the two pickups and then I'll play just the guitar track by itself. The same song just, you know, soloed out so you can hear the differences a little bit better. Now, I cannot emphasize this enough, how important it is to listen in a good listening environment. So it's either really nice headphones, good studio monitors, something where you can hear everything clearly and get a proper representation of the frequency response. Because if you're listening on your phone, chances are you're not really going to hear too much difference. Um, they both are voiced actually pretty similarly, um, which it makes sense given their playing styles kind of overlap a little bit. Um, but there are differences and I want I did everything I possibly could to make those differences evident. So make sure your listening environment is at least one where you can hear those differences. But that's enough talking, let's just listen to the pickups and see how they sound.
also, like I said, there is a difference. It's not that drastic, honestly. You know, and especially a dense mix, it's not, the differences aren't super evident. But they were more evident this time around, uh, properly tracking good quality DIs. And I did track the guitar tones differently this time than I normally would. Um, I just tracked it straight into uh, my Apogee Element 24, the DI instrument input, straight into Studio One, um, and I used Helix Native in there. Instead of reamping through the Triple Crown, I just didn't want you know, have to send the signal out through Triple Crown and then send it back in and potentially alter the DI and color it in any way, shape, or form. Normally, it would sound great. I would love the result, and it, it does sound great. It's just for the sake of this comparison, I wanted things to be as pure as possible. And if you're interested, I did use the Friedman Brown Eye uh, amp, a sim that's in Helix Native, which sounds really great. And I used, uh, I think, a catharsis impulse of some kind. I think like the Esprez or something like that. Um, and I hope that gives. And I rolled the game back maybe a little bit more than I normally would for the mix to try to let the transients jump out of each pickup. Now my thoughts on them. Um, I found the impulse set. It had a little bit more. It wasn't as it wasn't as much low mids. It was a little bit had a very balanced and present mid range, but the lack of low mids it had a little less chunk in it. Um, whenever you dug in, the I felt the juggernauts. You felt that low mid punch a little bit more, um, and the juggernauts were definitely a little bit more throaty and had a little bit more grunt to them. Um, that little kind of upper mid-range to mid-range grunt that really just like jumps through. Whereas there's plenty of mid-range in the impulse set that just naturally a little bit tighter, not as punchy, but still had plenty of bark and definitely cut through very nicely. Just a slightly different uh, mid-range frequency voicing. Now I'd say there's a lot more information in like a 250 hertz range in the Juggernauts versus Impulses, and just overall, um, the Juggernauts were a little bit more open, and there's a little bit more information there, and and that can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on your use and what you want out of a pickup. The Impulses were a little bit more balanced, um, still plenty of articulation, still plenty of, um, they definitely would cut through in a mix super easily. It's just they were a little bit more balanced. The, the, the Juggernauts have a very distinct voicing to them um, that I find, and they sound great. I mean, I, I mean, in that voicing that the Juggernauts have, sounds really good. A lot of people love it. I love it. Um, but you know, impulses. I feel like you could probably throw that in almost any guitar and get really good results. Whereas the Juggernaut might be a little bit more picky about that because just the impulse is a little bit more flat. Um, and I feel like neither one were harsh at any way, shape, or form. And I don't, wouldn't even use harsh in the terminology of either one. But if one was a little bit, quote unquote, less harsh out of the two, I'd say, again, the impulses. It's like they had, it's like they went through with like a notch filter and cut out like any potential frequency that could be even remotely harsh. And I mean, that's awesome. I mean, it gives your amp every opportunity to not be fizzy, to be super clear, to be super articulate, and just sound awesome. So, it, I mean, with either pickup, you can throw them in um, like a 5150, and you would probably have a lot less fizz and a lot less buzz than you would with a lot of other like higher output pickups. As far as output goes, the Juggernauts are definitely a little bit hotter. Um, just looking at the wave formations and just feeling the response, again, a little bit more punch, a little bit more... Um, aggressive nature to them. Uh, they they will are a little bit hotter, not a drastic amount, uh, but they are going to cause your amp, to, the preamp stage of your amplifier, going to saturate a little bit faster. Whereas the impulses, you know, it's not going to saturate as fast, and it's going to you know stay a little bit clearer, you know, as you turn up the game for a little bit longer. It just has a little bit more. It allows for more headroom. Um, to saturate, whereas the Juggernauts, although they're not super hot in the grand scheme of things, in comparison to like War Pigs 
or like deactivators or even like a crunch lab there's still or especially EMGs or something like blackouts anything like that there's still way less output than that but they are more than the impulses the juggernauts are com it's like a special hybrid combination of ceramic and alico pick, uh, magnets and the impulses are strictly Alnico 5. So uh, I really like Alnico a lot. And I like ceramic too, but it's just a different thing. Ceramic's a lot more compressed and a lot, you know, a little bit more stiff filling. The uh, Alnico, you know, it's a little bit more elastic, but not in a, you know, not in a negative way. It just, you, the dynamics come through. You're playing a little bit more. I feel like it's like a little bit more responsive to your playing. This is, it's a feel thing. That's why I like them. Um, so it's in the Juggernauts, you know, even though they're hybrid, they still have that dynamic feel. Maybe a little bit less than the impulses, but still feel really good. Now that's another part. Like while these pickups sound oh, pretty subtly different in this context, feel wise, in this in the room, there is a much more obvious difference. And that just, sadly, that doesn't come across on YouTube. It's one of those things, you play it in the room, you're playing through your amp, you know, you feel it, you hear it in your room, it's gonna feel different, and both pickups do feel pretty different. Like I said, one's not better than the other, I wouldn't categorize one over the other, but there is definitely a more obvious difference when you are the one playing the guitar in the room with your amp. Um, that's just not gonna come across on YouTube, the compressed audio is definitely squashing a lot of the, the dynamics that you might notice otherwise. So keep that in mind. Um, the true way to realize you know the differences is to try ones out for yourself. But I'm hoping this video gives you at least some sort of audio representation of some frequency response differences between two pickups, and to show that both sound great. Both are great pickups. Highly recommend both of them. It may just depend on your guitar. If your guitar is a little bit more low mid heavy, and you know, uh, and it has a lot of that low end information already, maybe the impulses are better to balance it out. If your guitar is kind of dark and and a little bit thinner sounding, the Juggernauts will probably open it up a little more. So it kind of depends on what you want. Um, both sounded great in this guitar, and from my uh, previous experience, both sounded great in my PRSs. So. Um, you know, I'm going to keep it in this for maybe a little bit, but I'm probably going to throw this in my single cut impulses back in the double cutaway um, standard 22 that I have and throw something else in here. I don't know. There's definitely going to be more pickup reviews in the future. I love pickups. Even though there's little nuanced differences between different ones, I feel like they really affect your playing and bare knuckles are just so dynamic. I feel like I play my best when I play them. That's why I like them so much. So I hope this information was helpful and you took something away. And make sure to let me know. You know, comment below, start a discussion. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer them. So yeah, we have the uh, Juggernaut Bridge pickup and the Impulse Bridge pickup. Check both of them out. They sound awesome. You won't regret purchasing them. You guys have a good one.